Hey guys, I'm Chris and I want to become a knife maker. I already have some tools for knife making like a belt grinder, a bandsaw and a drill press but I'm still learning by doing and I want to take you on to my journey on how to become a knife maker. So at first I want to do more like a kind of vlog type videos, not build videos because build videos I want to do when I'm really sure on what I'm doing. In the vlogs you can see me how I'm trying to approach knife making, how I try different techniques and find the best technique for me. I already tried a few and I want to show you um, certain techniques in my vlogs and show you my way, my journey on how to how I trying to become a knife maker, a professional knife maker. So at the moment I'm working out of my garage. I have here my belt grinder, my vise, my workbench, my drill press and my band. So it's all a little bit chaotic because to find a space for all the tools. But it still works out and I have some projects for today. So here we've already got two drawings which I really want to try out. This one is for a customer. And before I want to sell them because um, at first I want to do them in O1 tool steel and later on he will get it in D2 steel but at first I want to try that design out because I never ground that design and that blade shape and before I want to do the finished product I want to get a prototype out and see how it feels and how it handles and this one is also really nice um, I like the big blade and I really want to try that out. This one was laying around in my room for like days and weeks and weeks and I really want to try it out and now is the opportunity to try this model out. And it will be all done in O1 tool steel. It's pretty thick, it's like six millimeters or so. So what we are first going to do is we are going to cut those uh, knife designs out and then trace them onto the steel. And the shape doesn't have to be perfect on the steel because later on I'm going to do some profiling on my belt grinder and then I will find out how the perfect shape is. So if something is wrong with the blade shape on paper, I will later uh, fix it on the belt grinder. So now that we have traced them, I have to cut them with the angle grinder. I might um, cut a little bit longer on here, just to have, um, so I can experience with the grip size, because I don't want to have it too small or too large, because this should be, uh, in the end, an EDC carry. Um, I know it's a little bit long or big for EDC, but he wants a big knife because he's a soldier, so he can also carry it uh, in service or duty. So that's why he wants to have a knife like that.
Alright, so now we have the rough shape of the knives. I thinking I'm drilling that bit out here. I'm not sure yet. Um, or just uh, take a file to it and for the other profile we are going to take those blades to a belt grinder on a 36 ceramic and we're going to hog off the profile and shape them how they should be in the end. So before we center line our uh, knives, uh, we have to take off the burrs with some sandpaper so it lays flat on our surface. So I have a metal surface here which is pretty straight. I know you should use a granite surface plate but I don't have that so at the moment I just have that steel plate and it is better than my workbench with all the holes in it so I'm using the steel plate and one day I want to get a granite surface plate but I just don't have that and I'm using this steel plate. So for my center scribe I have this huge box and this humongous that thing is just I think it goes up to 30 centimeters or even more. And I bought it at Amazon and I thought it's like a small one and this big or so but it's not and um, yeah now I'm using that it still works perfectly uh, also for smaller stock but it's just huge so yeah So as you can see, a little bit better, here we have also two center lines, they are pretty close together. Um, so yeah, we're going to grind them and I'm thinking I'm going to freehand grind them and not using a jig. Two uh, spot here, one spot here, I'm not measuring them out anyhow, I'm just going to eyeball them where they are going to look pretty good and I'm going to use um, screws for this tang. So I have to drill six millimeter holes. I want to first drill it with a four millimeter hole and then with a six millimeter drill. So with this knife, I'm not sure if I should pin it or use screws. Um, but I'm thinking I'm going to use pins. So I have to use um, a 4.1 drill um, that's just easier but I'm going to explain that later why I'm going to use a 4.1 drill so the grip panels should roughly end up here I'm not sure um, yet where I'm going to end them or not that's what we just later decided but um, for hole wise I'm going to roughly put one here and one here I could do a third but um, that is just a prototype so I just will use two pins and that should be plenty.
right guys this was the day next time we're going to heat treat them clean them up and give them some scales and find some handle material for the blades um, if you like the video just give me a thumbs up or a comment down below um, if you have tips or suggestions what I should do um, just also drop them down in the comments I really would like that to hear from you guys what you want to see and what I could do better also with camera angles what do you want to see me doing filming um, maybe more my face or maybe more the grinding just let me know I'm just trying all that stuff out um, and it would be really cool if you guys would help me out with what you want to see and what you want to have from me showing you guys and yeah just drop it down in the comments and see you next time guys